Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another video of Code Zonk, where we are going to teach kids how to code. And here is a terrific resource that's targeting kids who are ages eight and older. This is called Hopscotch, and the reason I was drawn to this is because you can tell by looking at my iPad screen here, it is right next to Daisy the Dinosaur. Daisy the Dinosaur was a demonstration that we did a couple of weeks back, and the same people who made Daisy the Dinosaur made this app called Hopscotch, which is right next to it here. We're going to fire that one up. Now, I've already been in here, so this is going to look a little bit different for me than it is for you if you're opening it for the first time. But what I want to do is just kind of take you through some of the things that happen. Um, so if you've come here for the first time, and I don't, ha I can't show you this because I've already done it, it's going to prompt you to select a character, so you get to pick the way that your character looks, and it's going to ask you for a name, and I've already done that. But what you'll see when you come here for the first time is you'll see a menu that looks like this. And there's a handful of things that you can do as you scroll through. You can see that it's going to walk you through how to create a bunch of different projects. It's going to show you how to make your own Flappy Bird. It's going to show you how to make a game called Geometry Dash. There's ways to do drawing. Look at this. They, they even show you how to make a website. There's so much to explore in this application. And for anybody who's looking to learn how to code, this is a really great way to get started. There's so many different things that you can do. Fruit Ninja, look at that. That's, that's an app that I'm sure plenty of people are familiar with. And what this app does is it kind of shows you how to put something together like that. And you know you don't have to be an expert in computer science to, to do these exercises. You really just need to open them up and follow the instructions and give it a try. There's a ton to look at. But what I want to do is start this demonstration off by showing you the very first thing that you can do. And that's my first project, which you see over here on the right of my screen. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that. And it's, it could be a little bit uh, daunting or intimidating at first because it's like, geez, what do I even do? You know, there's no instructions that appear on the screen initially, but it's actually surprisingly simple. So the guy that you see highlighted here in the, in the yellow box, that's actually, that's my guy. That's the character that I selected for myself. And I'm going to make him a part of the scene that I'm going to create here. Um, optionally, I've got this little guy standing next to him here, this guy in blue with the skinny uh, red legs. I could use him. But for this demonstration, I'm going to use just my guy. So I'm going to go ahead and put my finger on him, and I'm going to drag him into the scene. And I'll just put him right here. So now what I can do is I can add a new rule. And to do that, I click on the yellow box that you see kind of moving here on your screen. And it's going to take me into this composition screen. And this is where I can drag all of my commands, similarly to what you saw in Daisy the Dinosaur, if you saw that demonstration. I'm going to say that uh, the action that I'm going to take, or, or the, the commands that I'm going to include, happen when a certain event takes place. And that's what these three buttons are here on the side. So in this red when box, you're actually specifying what the event is that you're going to take action on. In this particular case, I'm going to go with the default. I'm going to select the button is tapped, and I'm going to drag that here where they have this little when marker, and I'm going to let it go. And what that does is it opens up all of the abilities that I've got. So I'm back. It looks like a, it looks like my screen glitched a little bit, but hopefully you're still with me. So when the button is tapped, that's going to open up all of the abilities that I've got here on the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag a handful over there. I'm going to say the first thing that it, that's going to happen is when the play button is tapped, I'm going to run around. I'm just going to do that. And the first thing it wants me to do after I drop that command in, it dims the entire screen, as you can see, and it highlights the play button. And basically what this is suggesting is it's saying, hey, look, you've gone ahead and you've added your own code. You've added your own uh, request here in your application. Why don't you go ahead and play it and make sure it works the way that you want it to do? So we're going to accept that advice. We're going to press play. And it goes ahead and it runs around. So that's, that's good. So it's doing what we expect. I'm going to click the edit button like it's got highlighted here. And we're going to go back to our application. And we're going to make this a little bit more complicated. So we'll add a few more abilities in here. We're going to say when the play button is tapped, we're going to keep run around. But then we're going to do a backflip. OK, so it says, go ahead and play that again. All right, let's see if this made a change. So I'll press the play button. So he runs around, and then he does his backflip. So it's, it's congratulating me because I've made some progress, but I'm not going to publish this. I'm going to go ahead and keep working on this project because I think we can make it a little bit more complex. So to get back into the code, I'm going to click the edit screen that we've got up here in the top corner. 
So at this point, we're kind of on our own. We're not gonna get those hints and tips anymore. It's not gonna dim the screen and suggest that we uh, demonstrate the things that we've done so far. We're kind of on our own to be free and, and add to this as we want and we can play it when we want. So we're, we're kind of on our own at this point. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, when the play button is tapped, I wanna run around. I wanna backflip. Then I wanna run around again. I'll drop that here. Then I wanna spin. Then I wanna break dance. And then I wanna gigantify, which I'm assuming means my guy is gonna get huge all of a sudden, right? So you saw that we were able to drag multiple commands in. It doesn't interrupt us and tell us to play. So it's, it's no longer guiding us through the process of saying, hey, demo what you're doing so far to make sure that it, the, uh, that it meets with your expectations. Now it says, I trust that you know what you're doing and you're kind of on your own. So we'll go ahead and we'll press the play button and we'll see if all that stuff took place. So he runs around, he does a backflip. He should run around again, come back. He spins, now he's gonna break dance. He's looking good, he did the head spin, awesome. All right, oh, and then he gigantifies right there at the end. He's huge, so that's good. Let's go back to the, to the code by clicking on the edit button in the top right screen. Let's see if there's anything else that we can do. Um, I haven't explored the application too much beyond this, so this will be new to me. These are all the abilities here that we've got uh, highlighted here on the right. I'm wondering if we can do movement. We can. So we've, we've got movement abilities as well. Let's see, can we minimize the abilities here? We can. We've got drawing, we've got looks and sound. So that's interesting. We've got values. We can set a value, we can increase a value. We've got control flow, that's very interesting. This is definitely a lot more advanced than Daisy the Dinosaur, and that's probably why they're targeting older kids. Check once if and repeat. So that's really cool. Let's go ahead and let's see, can we delete this stuff? Oh look, so that's interesting. So I'm clicking on this little edit button here. It looks like a little pencil on these commands. And when you do that, you actually get some things that you can modify. So you can change the speed, you can repeat two times, you can do all kinds of stuff. That's really interesting. Run around, break dance. Oh, that's really cool. Wow, that's really cool. So you can actually get into this stuff and modify these commands and, and make them do things that are more specific to what you want. So in Gigantify, it grows by 300%. It waits for 2,000 milliseconds, that's two seconds, and then it shrinks by 75% before it's done. That's really cool. There's a lot of things that it looks like you can do in this application. I definitely encourage you to download this and explore it. But first, let me show you how to get it. I'm gonna jump out of this application I'm gonna run over to the App Store here. I wanna show you because, let's see. Right, so I did a search for Hopscotch and it brings up a, a handful of different um, uh, results here. You can see over here, I've got Daisy the Dinosaur appearing as one of the results. And that's just because Daisy the Dinosaur was actually created by the same people, Hopscotch Technologies. But the one that you want is this one. These two right here are related. This one over here on the right is the Hopscotch School Edition, and this one actually costs money. I, I don't know specifically what's different, but it does cost $9.99 to download that one. The other one though, Hopscotch, which is the one here on the left, this one is actually free to download and install on your iPad. So that's the one that I'm showing you right now, and that's the one I recommend that you get uh, started with. And you can just go ahead and click on that, and of course, if uh, mom and dad or if your teacher requires a password to download this application you'll definitely want to coordinate with them but this is the one that i'm using and uh, that's the one that that's the one that uh, you need to include on your ipad to, to demonstrate this as well so i would say jump into this application i'll close this out i'll go back and i'll bring up my menu again but there's a handful of things that you can do uh, a variety of different games. Uh, it looks like some drawing exercises. The website thing is really compelling. I'd love to try that. Uh, Fruit Ninja is a real popular application, so it sounds like they kind of walk you through how to create your own version of that, which is really neat. There's so much to do here. I have no doubt that I'm gonna come back to this application for future videos. But download this and give it a try, and let me know how it goes. If you like what you see here, please like this video. And if you'd like to see more of this stuff, the best way to do that is, is to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. We've got more of this coming, and we've got other ways to show kids how to, how to code as well. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.